What's going on guys? Say the next project. We're working on my buddy Cody's 92 Dodge. We're going to be replacing the vacuum seal or the vacuum pump seal um, because over time some of these trucks develop a leak on the vacuum pump. So this is the vacuum pump here and this is the power steering pump attached to the back of the vacuum pump and it's common to develop a leak between one of these three parts of the vacuum pump. So this is called the was it three piece vacuum pump? Yeah, so the 92s had the three piece vacuum pump. Um, the later models, I think it was 94, all the way up to 02, had uh, just a larger, I think it was only two piece. Yeah. This back housing and this piece were all together. Um, but you can, I ordered a piece from Cummins and uh, it's the same seal kit for that piece there and it comes with some O-rings for that seal too. Mm -hmm. The same seal kit for 91 and a half all the way up to 0 02. Yeah, and anyway, so this pump I, right here, you can see where the leak is, is in between these two pieces. Mm -hmm. And because this pump needs to be oiled, oil runs through it, engine oil runs through it, so it'll develop a leak and make you think that maybe you're leaking oil from like your pan gasket or something. So this is what we narrowed it down to, so we'll show you how to fix that. Okay, here's a quick look at the part number up there on the top left and what the kit comes with a few different gaskets all right we'll show you where it's leaking first you can see up there that's the vacuum pump you can already see where it's dripping from a little bit all right so the first thing we're going to do is pull off the vacuum supply line and then the power steering return line off of the pump Nice and full. Cheers. Sick. All right, it's so a good idea to, if you can, empty the power steering pump first with a evacuator of some sort. But if you don't have that, then it's just going to pour out that uh, that hose down there. So get a pan ready or something. Next thing we're going to do is be taking off this hard line off the back of the power steering pump, and then there's also a oil feed line for the vacuum pump. It's a steel braided line we'll pull that off the bottom of the pump and then we'll be ready to take the pump out all right looking from the bottom side that's the bolt that you're going to need to take off about for, oh, for the bracket <laughs> and there might be one right above it too that we have to take off correction it was just the one nut 15 mil and now we can take those two off the front of the pump and it'll come out Is it just two? What is that? See that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we pulled out the power or the vacuum pump and the power steering pump. Um, and notice that on that one bracket here, um, it didn't have a bolt attached to the block, so we probably could have left that on. But we're gonna have to find a bolt that'll fit in there because that bracket was missing a bolt. Um, in here now we can see inside the back of the timing case, and now we'll take a look at the pump. So Cody's here just draining out the rest of the power steering fluid. The rest is probably on the ground. Um, and yeah, now we can get to rebuilding it. Yeah, pretty cool. Alright, so we pulled the power steering pump off of the vacuum pump. And then there's two bolt or two nuts holding on this part of the vacuum pump. So we'll pull that off first. And it looks like there's an O-ring in there. Yep. That's gonna be replaced. And this is where your uh flange here from the power steering pump feeds into. So that's the drive gear for that probably. Yeah. Goes in there. And Okay, next we're going to take these three small bolts off. Are they, what, are they 10? That's a 10, yeah. 10 millimeter. To get the next section off, and there's another O-ring under there. This comes off first. Then slider off. And that's where that O-ring is? Yeah, that's the where our tiny little O-ring goes into. Okay guys, so this is the first and second part of the uh, vacuum pump here. Here's the gear side down there. And so in here you can see like 
how the motor actually makes vacuum here. So you have vacuum to break with. So you got, first you got to take out the o-ring seal here. That's the old one over here. And uh, put the new one in, just cover it with a thin film of oil. Put it put it in and it's uh, the one from Cummins that came in the box. I've already showed you the part number. It uh, It's a little thinner than this one. You can really notice it when they're both out. But putting it in, you don't notice it. And what we've read, uh, apparently it should be fine. Like Cummins sent it to us. So let's hope that it seals. And if it doesn't, we'll see by the end of this video. Okay, so we're going to put this back on. Just put those three bolts on that we took it off with. Okay, so this is the O-ring that was in that groove right there. So I just pried that out. It should normally just pry it nice and easy, but when I did it, it broke. So that's that's where it was leaking from. So that's why the seal's really bitter. As you, can see, as you can see, brittle. Yeah, it's very brittle. You can feel compared to the new one. The new one's nice and soft and squishy. This one's, this will snap. Like if I just this will play with it. And so putting this on will take a lot of stretching and, uh, but should be fine to stretch that much and cover that so in the film it. film of oil when you put that on too mm -hmm. all right so we're on to this part of the seal on the vacuum pump um so this was a press fit into this housing here from the back side like that and we tried to put a socket on there to uh punch it right through so you can see here there's a, a lip that it sits on and then it, it has to go out that way so we couldn't get it out with a socket. So what we had to do was um, get a punch in there and sort of punch into the side wall of the 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 seal because it's made out of steel and sort of just punch down at the same time, but being careful not to mar up the edge of the inside wall here. What we did was just punch it, and then we got it broken this a little bit and then just went around the edges until it was completely out. All right, so when we're driving this in, the way the seal goes, so there's this, the spring on this side, the spring goes down this way. And before we put that in, we're gonna coat the outside of it with some oil. Got some fresh oil in there. We'll get that all the way around this guy and then as well on the inside surfaces of this aluminum piece. And then we'll be able to when we put this in, we want to make sure it's started nice and straight, and then we can drive it home until it uh, bottoms out at that lip. But we want to be very careful not to screw this up because we only have one. Alright, so we've driven the seal all the way home, and it's fully seated, and should here. be good to create a seal now. <laughs> Oh hey there! So we got this oil seal. Um, this is for us. This is the one that was leaking bad, so we had to stretch it a lot to get on. But before we do that, you got to coat it with our oil. Gotella T4, nothing but the best. Nothing for but the best. nothing but the best of a truck. Mint. It's mint. So we get that nice and a thin veil of Viscous. grease. A of viscous coat of, of oil. Low viscous lubrication. Oil. So just uh, try to get it on there without ripping her, you know? Just rip her. Yeah, don't break that. Because we also don't have another one of those. Yeah. This is the one. You gotta stretch a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know when it fits. <laughs> you know when it's good. Alright. So, vacuum pumps all back together. Uh, now I need to put it back together with the power steering pump first. So we have to make sure we line those things up. So that's why it's easier to put it on before you put the entire thing back in the truck rather than put this on and then that. All right, so the pump's all back together now. We're going to go ahead and put it back in the truck and see if it leaks. All right, so we have the vacuum pump, power steering pump back on. We've ran the truck for about five, ten minutes and seeing that there's no leaks. So this whole seal kit thing worked out. 
and hopefully that helps if you have the same problem and thanks for watching anything to say uh change your oil frequently <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys found this useful, like and subscribe for more videos. And uh, keep driving those first gens. Cheers!